Hello students, welcome to a lesson through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher and in this lockdown period since we are not able to go to school children, we will be doing many lessons here online through the virtual class. So come on, let's proceed to our lesson for today. Children, as you can see, today we have a background where there are some test tubes and uh, there are some beakers and there are some symbols which are related to science. So, are we going to do a science lesson today? No, of course not. We will still be doing a lesson in standard 7th and the subject will be English. But the lesson is connected to science in the sense that the name of the lesson is Great Scientists. It is lesson number 2.7 in your English textbook. So if you have your English textbooks with you children, you can open your textbooks and come to page number 49 where you will find this particular lesson. Now, if you remember the last lesson that we did, the previous one, it was also in a way related to science, isn't it? It was about chasing the sea monsters and it was a science fiction story. So, this particular story is also closely related to science. So remember children when we do such kind of lessons which are related to science or which are related to some other subject what we do is actually we do not try to learn science here but we still try to learn words which are related to science in English. So in a way we are learning English only. Okay, so in this lesson when you learn, when we uh, read the story of uh, the scientist in this particular lesson, you will get a lot of knowledge about words related to science. That is, you will develop your vocabulary in English related to science. Okay, now let us start uh, this particular lesson by uh, talking about this great you can say uh, scientists and one of their uh, very you can say unique uh, quality now the textbook also the lesson in the textbook also it starts with this particular quote or with this particular proverb so let us try to say what this quote is telling us so great scientists are persevering and never deterred by difficulties. So let us try and understand what the meaning of this particular uh, sentence is or this particular uh, phrase is. So great scientists are persevering. So now what is the meaning of a persevering? Let me tell you the meaning of persevering and then we will see how scientists are persevering. So persevering means continuing in a course of action despite a difficulty or delay in achieving success. So you know the work of scientists children they make great discoveries isn't it and do you think this uh, takes a long time or this happens overnight that is today morning I try to discover something and in the evening I discover it. Does it happen that way? No it doesn't. Okay so the scientists when they invent something it is a, a lot of effort children it takes a lot of time and it is sometimes they fail again and again and again and then finally after maybe probably many years they succeed okay so persevering means continuing to work unless you achieve success okay so this is a very very important quality if you want to become a scientist not only a scientist if you want to succeed in any field you have to have the quality of perseverance you have to keep on persevering okay now there is one more uh, word here but now since you know the meaning of perseverance you will automatically understand the meaning of deterred so what is the meaning of deterred deterred means discouraged okay so you are persevering and persevering that means you are continuing to work hard that means you are not discouraged by the difficulties that come across your way 
so starting on this note let us talk about the life of a very very important scientist and his name was michael faraday but before we go to michael faraday let me tell you that this particular uh, story in your textbook is from the book called reignited and it was written by our late uh, president apj abdul kala and srijan pal singh and it was about how to uh, inspire children how to make children uh, develop their interest in science and technology okay so that india has a great future ahead so this particular excerpt you can say or this particular article in your book has been uh, taken from this particular book called as reignited by dr apj abdul kalam sir and srijan pal singh and like i told you just now it is about the life of michael faraday now children this is a long story actually so what we'll try to do is we will try to see the entire story in today's part of the lesson because it is a really inspiring story it will teach you so many things about how you are supposed to work so that you will succeed one or the other day in life and in the next part of the lesson that is the next video which i will put up we will do the grammar and the vocabulary and the meanings etc related to this lesson okay so michael faraday is the scientist that we are going to focus on today along with a few other scientists also but we are going to mainly talk about the life of michael faraday he is regarded as one of the most uh, eminent scientists and inventors of modern times so many things that he has invented is helping us even today and it will help us in future also for years and years to come so he has laid down the foundation for development in the field of electricity okay but we do not uh, know much about his life people do not know much about michael faraday's life so come on let us try and see how his life was so was he a very rich person or did he have to struggle in life so all these things we will try to learn from this story about michael faraday so michael faraday he was born in 1791 and he passed away in 1867 so he worked for quite a number of years in the field of science he discovered the electromagnetic induction which led to the generation of electricity now one important thing about him was he had only a less number of years in school he could not attend school for a long time what was the reason we will see when we see the story and like i told you just now he was one of the greatest scientists in human history and he was supposed to be given knighthood that is the government of england wanted to honor him and wanted to make him a knight knight means a kind of a title it is an honor okay but he did not want to accept it and he gave christmas lectures for kids instead that means he was not attracted by fame or name but he wanted to keep on working in the field of science and technology so let us learn a little bit more about michael faraday's life so see he was born into a poverty stricken family in a dirty london suburb so poverty stricken family means into a very very poor family all right and who did not have properly uh, to eat and of course then it was very difficult uh, for him to have a very you can say uh, royal life and lots of money which he could spend on his experiments etc and he, they lived in a very dirty part of london that is a very uh, you can say like a slum area of london so he was born into a very poor family okay he did not have a very rich beginning in life and you will see that he had other issues also so he suffered from a speech defect now there are certain people who stammer isn't it you might be having friends in your class also some of them who stammer that is they cannot start saying a sentence immediately they get stuck on certain sounds 
okay so what do we do as friends we sometimes make fun of them but do not do that children when you make fun of someone's shortcoming when you make fun of someone's uh, problem that problem becomes uh, more for that person okay the person is not able to solve that problem the person will not be able to overcome that problem so if you have any friend who's suffering from any kind of issue like this you should always help him support him and encourage him but in faraday's case what happened was there was something else which happened he was having a defect i told you he would pronounce rabbit as wabbit so he could not say r okay he could also not say his own name so instead of saying faraday he would say faraday all right so there was this problem he could not say the uh, pronounce the letter r or the r sound so this was a big issue with him and what happened because of this the other children used to laugh at him and they used to make fun of him okay you can see here how the children are teasing poor michael and michael is all harassed and even his uh, teachers did not help him when he used to go and complain to his teachers his teachers also used to not support him okay so his mother had to take him out of school he had she had to uh, strike his name off out of school and she has to she had to keep him at home so that means he could not study so 12 12 years means he must have been like you maybe in the 7th or in the 8th standard so he could not even complete his schooling poor michael and he was left without a proper school education then what did he do he had to do some kind of work isn't it he had to learn some kind of craft so he started working at a book binders shop and he started binding books and uh, day and night and you remember the story of abdul when we did abdul the courtier there also we saw that he started working with a bookkeeper or a shopkeeper who had books and then he started reading those books so in the same way uh, michael also started working with a book binder and he used to bind books and along with binding books he used to read the books he used to read them day and night whenever he got a chance he used to read the books and this reading books became a fascination with him fascination means he could not stop himself he would continuously read the books okay and one day what happened was he came across a book on electricity and he was really fascinated with it and this fascination lasted a lifetime fascinated means very attracted to something okay so you can see how michael faraday is reading the book on electricity and this was the first time he came to know about something like electricity okay but then he decided that no now he will have to do something else if he continues working with the uh, book binder he will learn a lot of things but he will not make money all right one day by chance what happened was so now the book which he read was his first introduction to electricity and it became a life long obsession or fascination for michael faraday now what happened was one of his friends he gave him a ticket and there was this place called as the london's royal institute in this place people used to hold seminars and meetings and experiments etc now michael was very poor but one of his friends they gave he gave him a free ticket to a lecture and a demonstration by the renowned chemist chemist means a person who is an expert in chemistry okay and this person's name was humphry davy okay so he had this kind of a seminar and he also uh, had a public lecture that is you pay some money and you can go and watch this lecture and our uh, michael faraday you know he was obsessed with science he was obsessed with electricity and he was obsessed with chemicals so he was very happy when he got the ticket he went and he attended this particular lecture and let me tell you after attending the lecture there was no looking back for michael 
Faraday was spell bound by Davy's lecture. Spell bound means he had no words to express his joy and his, uh, you can say, attraction towards what Davy taught him. And he decided that now he will make Davy his master. So he went and he approached Davy again and again and he told him to keep me for work. But then Davy did not agree at all. Humphrey Davy, he thought that, oh, this is a poor boy and he doesn't even have any school education. So what work will he be for me? He said, no, 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 you cannot work with me. I am a great chemist. I am a great scientist. And you do not have money also. And you have not educated also. So there is no point in you working with me. Okay. But then uh, our Faraday, he kept on trying, kept on trying. He went on going back to Davy and requesting that Davy should keep him as his assistant and he should teach him things on chemistry. But Davy did not agree, okay, in the beginning. But then something happened later and Davy had to agree. That is, there was a chemical explosion which happened inside Davy's lab. And he was temporarily blinded. Blinded means he suffered an injury to his eye. Now, you know, when we are dealing with working with chemicals, when these scientists, when they work with chemicals, you know, chemicals, sometimes they are very uh, dangerous also, children. You should not work with chemicals if you do not know properly about them. Even you must have seen when you go to your lab, your teacher does not allow you to touch everything, isn't it? She tells you to be careful because you do not know about these chemicals. Sometimes when you mix two chemicals, na, there will be a very big explosion. So something like that happened in day, at day Davy's lab and he was temporarily blinded. Now he could not see anything. So how will he work if he cannot see? So he decided that, okay, I will make Faraday my secretary. So he hired Michael Faraday as his secretary and that was the beginning of Faraday's journey towards science. Okay, but Michael Faraday, uh, Davy did not think that Michael Faraday will be of any use to him. Davy was thinking that he was of no use because he does not have any education and also he did not have any kind of uh, training. He did not have money also. So he thought, Davy thought, till I become okay and till I am uh, better, let me keep him with me. Alright, so that is the reason that he kept Faraday with him. But uh, Faraday kept working hard and harder and he one day he got a chance to prove himself in front of Davy. Now Davy was trying to uh, do sometimes he was Faraday used to be at Davy's lab all the time, okay? And he was a very hard-working person. And very soon, Faraday became indispensable to Davy. So, indispensable means that Davy could not work at all without Faraday. One day, Faraday would not come, Davy would become upset. And Davy's work would all stop and suffer. So, that is the meaning of indispensable. So, uh, Davy was doing this particular experiment along with a friend of his and he wanted to find out how the wire became a magnet when supplied with electricity. But somehow he was not able to get success in this particular experiment. Okay, so he became very frustrated. Davy became very frustrated. And one day he made fun of Faraday and he asked him to try to solve the problem. Okay, just like, you know, uh, you mock someone or you make fun of someone. And you won't believe this, but within a few days, Faraday solved the problem. So see, this is how Faraday solved the problem. You can see when the red light burns, it means current is passing through the wire. And all these pins are getting attracted towards the wire. That means when current is passing, the wire has become magnetic. You know what a magnet is? When you take something made up of iron near it, it pulls the iron. So now Faraday solved the problem which his master or his teacher Davy was not able to do. 
and because of this faraday became a success okay and the result was that the induction machine was made and my davy could not do it isn't it it was faraday who could do it so michael faraday is credited for the discovery of the electromagnetic induction machine or electromagnetic induction now children i am not a science teacher so i might not be able to explain what it is and how it works in detail okay so let us just understand and in the beginning also i told you that we are not doing a lesson on science but we are doing a lesson in english where we are going to learn terminologies or we are going to learn vocabulary related to science isn't it so now it is important for us at this time to understand that this particular machine that is the electromagnetic induction machine was made by faraday and this machine brought about a big revolution okay this induction motor it brought about a big revolution because there are so many things like the fan the air conditioner sewing machines photographs power tools cars and even trains and aeroplane engines which are made because of the simple machine that michael faraday in invented so many years ago and faraday now became a very very successful scientist okay but remember children sometimes when you succeed everyone is not happy with your success there are people who feel jealous of you and davy was faraday's teacher davy should have been very very proud of faraday but it was not the case okay davy was very very jealous of faraday because davy had thought that faraday was useless but then faraday now had become a very famous person more famous than davy so now davy was very 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 jealous of faraday and he gave him a very difficult task to do there was this thing called as the bavarian glass which is used in telescopes microscopes etc and there is a very there was a very secret formula to make this particular kind of glass so what did davy do to just trick faraday or to demoralize faraday he asked him to reverse engineer it that is make it in the reverse start making this again okay and now of course faraday could not succeed all right he tried and tried but he could not succeed and what he did was he wanted to remind himself that i have not been able to do this so he to remind himself what did he did do was he kept a single glass brick on his shelf as a souvenir now what is a souvenir souvenir is something which will keep reminding you of someone or some place so faraday kept this brick as a souvenir in front of him you know on a shelf so that he is always reminded of his failure also as a scientist so remember children this is also one very important thing for us to learn when we become successful we should not become proud and get carried away okay because sometimes we might fail also and when you fail again you should not become disappointed and give up everything all right so let us learn this from faraday's story very soon davy passed away that is davy died and faraday became the head of the laboratory and now he could do whatever he wanted and he could do whatever discoveries whatever inventions he could he could work towards it and then he discovered the generator or he invented the electric generator now you know how important these generators are even in today's times and this generator was called as faraday's disk okay so michael faraday he invented the electric generator after that after the electromagnetic uh, induction thing which he did he invented the electric generator and there are so many uh, instruments which even now run on the on this principle okay now faraday had become a great scientist but there was some kind of uh, physical uh, disability that he suffered he suffered some kind of memory loss okay he could not remember things but in spite of it he kept on working and he kept on working 
And do you remember that Bavarian glass that Faraday had kept on his shelf that I just told you about? He started again working on it and he developed a concept called as polarization. Okay, you can learn more about what is polarization from your science teacher or you can go onto the internet and you can check what polarization means. And slowly and slowly he worked towards more uh, things in the field of science. But remember, he did not have a school education children. So Faraday's mathematics was very weak. So there were many things that he wanted to do, but he could not write these mathematical equations. Again, he was lucky and he went on and he met a person called as James uh, Clerk uh, Maxwell. He was wealthy and he was educated and he was a mathematician and he started working with Faraday. Okay, and both of them together they worked and he helped him with the equations and they developed a lot of technology in the field of electronics and communication. So, James Clerk Max Maxwell and Michael Faraday together they worked in order to develop the kind of electronics and communication systems that we see today. So electronics and communication system even in today's times are designed around their discoveries. Okay, so you see how much we developed in the field of science and technology because of all the work that Michael Faraday did almost 200 years ago. And you don't know, maybe probably in the future because of these discoveries that he made, we might even be able to communicate with aliens. Aliens means people from outer space. All right, or from different galaxies. So this was how great Faraday's life was. And remember, when we see the story now, you will realize that there were many difficulties in his life. So his life was not very easy. Okay. And it is not as if he had everything that he wanted. He was very poor. He uh, wanted to learn more, but he could not attend school. Isn't it? He was uh, actually he was thrown out of school, you could say, because of the behavior of uh, his uh, fellow students and his teachers. And then you will also see that when he wanted to learn something, that time also he was faced with a lot of difficulties. He got an opportunity to read books because of working with the book binder. Now, it was someone else. They would have just learned how to bind books and carry on with life. But what did Faraday do? He went on to read the books and then he happened to read a book on electricity and he was fascinated and he decided that yes, I want to work in the field of electricity. Then you saw how he went on to meet uh, Humphrey Davy by fate or by luck as you would say and then he persuaded Davy to accept him as his assistant and then we know the rest of the story about how he went on to discover or uh, to invent so many important uh, things in the field of uh, science and technology. So there is a very very important uh, you can say uh, you cannot say a saying or uh, there is a very uh, unique thing which has been said by this person called as Pinocchio. So Pinocchio is a character from Walt Disney's stories. So like you have Tom, Jerry, Donald, etc. Pinocchio is also a cartoon character. Now Pinocchio has said, had said that when you wish upon a star, it does not matter who you are. That is, when you wish upon a star, when you look at a star in the sky and you feel that, no, I want to work towards achieving that star. Now, working towards achieving the star doesn't mean flying into the sky and plucking the star from the sky, okay? That is an impossible task. Working, uh, wishing upon a star means making a wish which looks impossible. Now, uh, who would have thought that Michael Faraday, who had a lot of speech defect, who had not even gone to school properly and who was not even rich, he did not have any kind of money also to set up a lab, who would have thought that he would have gone on to become such a great scientist? It sounds very improbable, isn't it? It sounds very impossible. But according to what Pinocchio said, 
if you wish upon a star and if you work towards it remember when you wish upon a star you should also have the ability the perseverance remember these words we learnt in the beginning of the lesson you should have the perseverance to not be deterred by the problems that you face okay so if you persevere without failing it doesn't matter who you are who you are means you might be a person with physical disabilities you might be a person who doesn't have money you might be a person who doesn't have a lot of education but if you make a wish and if you're determined to fulfill that wish you will definitely be able to do it okay so this is a thing that we learned from this lesson this is a good thought or this is a the moral that we learned from the life story of michael faraday now children like i told you we will do the next part of this lesson or whatever is remaining in this lesson there is a little bit of grammar remaining in the lesson and also i will discuss the meaning of some more words which i might find is difficult for you to understand in the next video that i bring up but there is a small assignment that i will leave you with so you are supposed to find out more about the following scientist on the internet so i already told you a lot of things about michael faraday you also know a little bit now about humphrey davy and a little less you know about james clerk maxwell and we did not talk at all about this scientist called thomas edison okay so what is your assignment you will look up the internet and try to find out information about michael faraday which i did not give you today so in this particular lesson there is a lot of information that we got about michael faraday but there is still a lot to be understood and learned about him so come on try uh, go to the internet whenever you get time and try to find out more information about michael faraday humphrey davy thomas edison and james maxwell all right the other people you have seen their pictures you have seen pictures of michael faraday humphrey davy and james maxwell see this is how thomas edison looks like all right so this is your assignment so let us uh, meet again very soon to complete this lesson and learn whatever is remaining in this particular lesson so children wasn't that a wonderful video and did you enjoy watching it so if you want to watch more such videos in future then please like this video and also subscribe to our channel the mcgm portal for education and also hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video here thank you so much for now let's meet again soon